Jones Field, Central Union High School, Friday Night Lights on a youth football night. With me is Michael Sullivan. Not only is he here to, today to help as an alumni, but he's also been a participant. One of the main reasons you started playing football, you were telling me, was the, these type of camps that you, that you came when you were a youngster that really motivated you to come, and now you're giving back to the kids that are here. Uh, yes, sir. I mean, these camps have just shown me uh, the positivity about football and kind of engaged me in that team, team sport mindset. And just coming to that first one in middle school just like lit the fire and I continued on my way to where I'm at right now. Rudy Lasola, number 32 last year for the Central Spartans, middle linebacker, two-way starter. This is your second year. You'll be entering your second year this coming year right now. You're one of the kids that have come back to help out the Friday Night Lights at Cal Jones Field. Uh, and not only that, you were also a participant, you were telling me earlier. What's it like and what are your plans like to come back and, and actually participate and help these kids out? Right, I think it's just a good opportunity for kids to either get introduced to the sport, learn something or just come out and see the school. But, you know, post football, I plan to come back for sure, help out, give back, of course. Robinson with me, 1988 Central grad from playing on this football field to this year going to be a parent. Actually, this is going to be your third year being a parent, watching your son Zayrin playing. What's it going to feel like and what's it felt like those two years now just going to be a parent now, Gerald, after, you know, your playing days coming here? You know, being a parent, watching um, your kid play and all the years you put into them to be a great person, great human being, it feels good because, you know, you, you give them a tool in life and you expect for them to take it and run with it and, and become what they want to become in life. So being a parent, it's hard because, you know, I've been on this field and played the game and coach and, and was very successful because I was successful because I put the effort in, in the and the time into it. And that's what I install in, in, in the kids and install in my son. Whatever you want to be great in, you got to put the time into it. Now that's true, Gerald. And it's some of those things like this camp that's going on right now that we're seeing a lot of, you know, we've seen it here at Central, we've seen it at Brawley, there's one coming up in Calexico. Uh, one of the big positive things that just keeps kids involved in the sports year round now. You know, it's a blessing. Um, I go back on my air. We had the awesome coach, coaching staff, coach, um, players. But the main thing was that what we didn't have is camps like this. We didn't have camps as youth. We didn't have camps to go to when we were in high school. You know, all these kids can go to all these camps and college camps. We didn't have that. So what we had was summer out, let's go play. You know, but and when Hell Week started, we knew it was time for football. Yeah. So this is a big plus for these young youth to get experience, and not only for the young youth, for the kids that's playing at high school to be able to coach the young youth and put in the shoes as if they were their coaches. So it's a big plus all the way around. But it, it's a plus for the young youth um, being on a, a, a field, a high school field that they look up to and that they be playing for when they get in high school. Josh Wise with me, athletic director here at Central Union High School. Now, of course, you're in charge of all sports here at Central Union High School, but tonight, Friday Night Lights on the football field here, this is a little bit special. This is a tradition that keeps growing and growing and growing, and you going into your third year, what have you seen the progress this thing has become? We have a bunch of young, uh, young, not, I was gonna say young boys, and we have young females out here. And you know, ultimately, we're trying to get them engaged in lifelong exercise and playing sports, and ultimately just keep them off the streets. And you know, having them out here, being engaged, having fun, being with older athletes, you know, the high school students, and they look them at, look to them as role models. And we're trying to teach our students just to be better people. 
And that starts by coming out here, learning teamwork, uh, learning how to build relationships with your teammates. And uh, that's what we want. We want to be able to have these students come out here, um, be engaged, and want to be part of something bigger than them. Well, the, I was talking to Michael Sullivan earlier, and what I noticed out here, Josh, was the alumni that came back out here to help. I think that's one of the biggest positives, and, and you know, not just here, but in other schools. When all the alumni start coming back, it's also, you know, they get to, re, you know, join their teammates they played with to come back here. It's a good meeting point, and it's good atmosphere to be around your old teammates. Some of them have moved on to studies, colleges, and just, you know, your regular work life. And then people like Michael have actually taking that other that, that other step and is at Western Colorado so it's good to see that Josh great to see that right you know they're, they're coming back they're giving back to the community uh, like you're saying somebody like Michael he's an educator nowadays he came through the system uh, played sports and now he's officiating and he's giving back to the students and ultimately we want to be able to teach our students to become good uh, community individuals we want them to come and give back and you know, have a good time. And the reason they come back is because they had good experiences. And what, and that's what we're trying to do is provide them a great experience. Coach Rookie Pena here with me, entering his sixth season as head coach of the Central Spartans. Coach Rookie, when you came here in 2017, this is something that was already here. You've just continued that tradition. Yes, you know, what a great place to be. You know, we're very fortunate to be here at Central Union High School, and especially here at Cal Jones Field. You know, there's such a great honor and privilege just to be here. And again, thank you to the parents and the kids for coming out tonight and keeping that yearly tradition. Well, one of the things that we noticed a lot here was a lot of the alumni coming back, Coach. Not only that, not the alumni, but you also had present players. And to have the alumni with, you know, the present players that, you know, the Sullivans and, and the other kids that you had here that were part of this when they were a little kid, that's what makes this kind of thing special. Well, yeah, I mean, this place is a very special place. And obviously, you know, these kids will carry on from, from being a camp kid and actually playing, you know, back in the, play in the practice field on a Friday night, game night, to actually playing here one day. And again, you know, a lot of our kids, they all came through the system and coming through Central. They're all just living the dream. And what a great place to do it here on Cal Jones Field, you know, with a great Spartan band. Thank your parents, okay? Thank you for your parents for bringing you guys out here tonight. We really appreciate your guys' support. And we'll be looking forward to you guys this coming fall, right? Because we all know you guys come to the game, and then what do you guys typically do on that field? Go back over there and play while the game's going on, right? Okay? So we're all about, hey, we're all about playing. We're all about making sure we enjoy the game of football. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome.